It's time for more of the upstate New York style hot dog. We're here today at Hot Dog Charlie in Cohoes, New York. It's a little outskirt of Troy, the Albany capital region. This place is also a place of legend. Now, I didn't come to know Hot Dog Charlie from these like standalone places. I came to know Hot Dog Charlie from their presence in the malls. They had outposts in basically every mall in the area. And the big one that I used to love back in the day was the Latham Circle, which is now a dead mall. But even in the Crossgates Mall and in the Colony Center at one point, there was always a Hot Dog Charlie. There was even a point where they were inside of a mobile gas station right near my house. So I'm gonna head inside, place an order. I think I got a good game plan for this time. They have quite a diverse menu, actually. It's not just the hot dogs. They also have sausage sandwiches, burgers, clam rolls, you name it, they have it. French fries, it's, it's kind of an unbelievable menu for as simple of a place as it is. But the star of the show for me at Hot Dog Charlie or Hot Dogs Charlie's or whatever you want to call it is the little mini hot dogs with the meat sauce. So do what you always do, hit like on the video, subscribe if you haven't, and let's go place an order. <laughs> So here is the hot dog Charlie's, you know, signature hot dog. So remember, these are mini hot dogs with like these really, really nice buns. The bun here is not quite as hefty, I think, as Gus's. This is a little bit more akin to a Fryhofer roll. And they have the meat sauce. Now, th their meat sauce is a little bit more, I would say, substantive. It's almost like a chili. There's a little bit more onion in there. And they also have two versions. There's a, there's a spicy version and a non-spicy version. Now, they put all four on the same plate and I don't know which one's which, so let's see what we got here for the first hot dog. I think that's a not spicy version, because this meat sauce has kind of a chili pepper aspect to it. Now, what I love about it, the mustard is one of those things that like is underlying as a flavor, and then you got raw onion, and then cooked onion inside of this chili sauce, meat sauce, whatever it's called. The hot dogs here are also a little bit less tough. They, they go down pretty easy. Almost like a ballpark hot dog. Really good. I think I found one of the hot ones. This one, there's a little bit of crushed pepper in it. I think that's how they get it spicy. It's basically the same thing except spicy. Yeah. Super spicy. I almost feel like this one's a little bit more rich. It might just be because the hot pepper gives you a little bit more to taste in that whole thing. Now their meat sauce has a lot of onion. Like it really comes through in this sandwich. Less than Gus's. Gus's I think was more meat in the, in the mix and spices. And what's really cool about Hot Dog Charlie, Hot Dog Charlie's, my guest today has been correcting me every time I say Hot Dog Charlie. You could actually get their meat sauce in the supermarket. So you could like make this at home if you really wanted to. But in the area here, I think there's like four different locations. Speaking of my guests, you loved him last time when we went, went to Gus's. Here he is, the venerable Metal Frog. Hello YouTube, once again, here we are chowing down with hot dogs. One of the things Jerry and I bonded over is I love for crappy food. Love it. As he said, going back to the mall, I spent a lot of time at Latham Circle Mall. I grew up in Waterville. It's kind of the hangout spot. Movie theater, KB Toys, Hot Dog Charlie's. What more could you want? At one point, the only thing left in the mall was the Hot Dog Charlie's, a little pizza joint, and the movie theater. It was really the only thing keeping the place going. And you can see why, because the food is consistently good. Grill our dogs on the flat top. Give a nice little bite to the like natural skin casing on the dog. The buns are steamed, so they got a little bit of a, a soft interior. It's warm and it's got a little bite on the outside. Mm. Best dog in the area. Now, what do you have yours topped with? Because yours is notably different than mine. So I do the sauce with the liquid molten cheese. I lose the raw onion and I don't do the mustard. And it's got a different kind of flavor to it. It's a little bit more of a like a sharp bite to it because of the cheese. It's like a really sharp cheddar cheese. I just love the way it tastes, man. Now for me, when I see a menu as deep as Hot Dog Charlie for a fast food place, I don't just leave it at the hot dogs. I had to go with some other stuff. Today, I also have to try their sausage sandwich, which I actually have never tried before. And when I say sausage sandwich, it's actually like on a hot dog bun. And it, this like this very well could be like a supermarket fry hopper roll. You, you can't knock it, it's fast food, so. This is a piece of Italian sausage that it's grilled and griddled and it's cooked pretty, pretty far. I, w I don't want to say dry because the addition of that caramelized onion on top is actually like really good. There, there's like a pepper and onion topping. 
I think you could also get the Hot Dog Charlie sauce on it as well, Hot Dog Charlie's sauce. That's really good. It's basically like a, like a low-key version of a sausage and pepper like hero sandwich that you would get at a fair. And you could see, got a nice little drippage going on. Good sandwich. And I didn't even stop there. I got some onion rings today, and these are some, ah, I'm making a mess. These are some pretty, pretty solid onion rings. Not, not much different than like your supermarket bagged onion ring. It came with a horseradish cream, which I've never had in an onion ring before. Although I guess you can kind of consider like the bloomin' onion sauce is kind of a horseradishy kind of sauce. All right, here we go in with an onion ring. Super crispy. Horseradish cream is a good addition to this. It's about all I can say about the onion rings, except that horseradish cream could be a game changer. I can imagine that on a hot dog with some of the meat sauce. That could be kind of a little killer like concoction. You can do a customization or something. Could work. All that other fancy stuff that we got here, the sausage sandwich, very good. The onion rings, are, they're fine, but the hot dogs are really everything I come back to for Hot Dog Charlie's. These are probably, I would say, for the, for the places in the area, are probably the most like consistent, I would say QC tested, and just, deli they're, they're delicious. I don't know what it is about their meat sauce. I think it might be the heavy use of onions in it, but to me, it's it's probably, I, I dare I say, it's probably my favorite of the of the bunch of upstate New York legendary hot dog stands. Now that isn't to say that we're not gonna check out those other places. So I'll make a playlist of all that and I'll put it right here, click into that, and you can see all of the hot dogs in this kind of upstate New York style hot dog tour. <laughs>